Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage and welcome to episode 26 of Civilization 5 as Poland on Deity. I pretty much figure that this is going to be the final, um, ah, Songhai stole, uh, stole computers from me, that's annoying. Oh, you hear about the spying incident, we, we'll let it slide this time, don't do it again. Um, I'm pretty much certain that this video is going to be the last video in this series. The game w should be over by the end of this video one way or another. Either I'm going to win or somebody else is going to win, basically. Um, the Songhai are rushing towards a spaceship victory. Uh, the Songhai also um, have most of the capitals right now, although for some reason it's still saying that um, Maria Theresa has not built a capital city. We've still got that weird bug. So there's another booster completed now by um, Sweden. So we've got all three boosters and the cockpit. We are still ahead, and although that's weird... Oh no, we have built it. We've just not added it to the uh, to the thing. There we go. Uh, Warsaw is now ready for more construction. Let us go and get a nuclear plant there because we can't actually start work on the final um, piece of the spaceship yet because we don't have the tech. We are working. Our, we don't need a research agreement. We are working on the stasis chamber down there in Krakow. Now Morocco's starting to complete the booster. So I, am, I did play really slowly on this game. Uh, it definitely wasn't optimal. I should have done... I should have been far more aggressive and played far more quickly. But as far as I'm concerned, if I can just get a win on Deity, just getting a win, that's my first... I'll work on optimization later, okay? You, you, need, you need to be able to do something before you worry about trying to master it. So 12 turns to get particle physics is not too bad. It's already saying that I've I've built this part of it, but I don't think I, oh no we do have we do have the uh, the cockpit and we're we're about to finish um, the uh, one of these other bits as well. So we are definitely ahead of everybody else, <laughs> which is good. It's just how long it's going to take us to get particle physics. Seven turns, we've all got a great scientist. So in seven turns, we will have the tech for for certain. No, we don't need a research agreement. There's no point in having a research agreement. It won't pop in time. Now, what we could do is try and make sure we've got a few more people working some of the science building slots. It might slow things down a little bit, but it might actually help us get a scientist a little bit more quickly. So, let's just go through and have a look at some of these. You're not actually working the research lab at the moment. As long as you're not starving, go and work the research lab. Anything that'll increase our science output. You're not working the public school. Um, that's not a great tile. It doesn't slow down the building of the stasis chamber, so let's put you in there. Um, you have a university, but you're not working any of the university slots. Let's go and put you in there. This will slow things down considerably in this city in terms of growth, but it will hope six turns until we've got a great scientist. You're not working the research lab. Um, can we afford to give up a tile without you stagnating? Eight turns, put you in there. Five turns. Okay, we've now got it down to five turns. Githionia is going to build a stadium. Uh, we have enough money to just go and build that public to buy that public school. Let's just go and do it and then I Suppose we'll start working on the research lab, so we could be working the public school, but then That leaves a lot of empty tiles It's not going to grow though at this current rate now. It's starving still on five turns uh, What's a good food tile well, there isn't really one could buy that one. Move you to there. Okay, that's fine. We've actually now managed to get um, get the great scientist down to five turns. So in five turns, we will have our great scientist, and we should have particle physics. So we'll probably have to stop building that nuclear plant, but we will have a selection of cities to look at and see which one's going to be able to build the uh, final piece the fastest. That's the important thing here. You still want to go to war with Morocco. Not necessarily sure that's going to work out. 
So like I said, you should be aiming to win about a third of the way through the game. If you're playing on um, fast pace, you should be able to get a science victory by about turn 200-ish. If you're playing on standard pace, you should be looking to get your science victory around 300, 350. If you're playing on epic, it should be around about turn 500. And if you're playing on marathon, it should be around about turn... Um, 1000 something like that i think is is epic 1500 turns something along those lines so we are a little bit be uh, sorry marathon but we are a little bit behind for epic like i said we should be about one by now as long as we beat the ai though that's all i'm concerned about morocco still moving a lot of units around and if i do actually win this game this will genuinely be my first deity win so ascii has completed the cockpit that is a little bit scary So he's neck and neck with us, but we are about to finish the stasis chamber in two more turns. So it all, it's all going to come down to the engine. That is going to be the important bit here. So this will be the stasis chamber finished. The problem with Askia and Sweden, I mean, not, not bothered about Morocco, not bothered about the Incans, but Sweden and Askia, particularly Askia, just have so much land. And deity level AI with all of their production bonuses. You're not getting a research agreement. You don't need one. Go away. Three turns we get the scientist. And then we'll cycle through all of the cities and see which one would build it the quickest. We've also just got a golden age. Perfect timing. So choose production down here. We'll work on a nuclear plant because I've got nothing better to do. We're going to go ahead and move the stasis chamber and add it to the rocket. So, if we actually have a look at the Vich conditions now, we are ahead of Songhai by one part, we're ahead of Sweden by two. Morocco, no, Morocco haven't got a chance, but Sweden could catch up, and very much so could the Songhai. So, it's all going to come down to how quickly we can build the engine. And we don't have to wait eight turns for particle physics, because in two turns we get the scientist. So, let's get through these turns. I'm actually quite excited if I can pull this off with my first legit deity win. And also, quite excited that I managed to pull it off without really going to war. I know there have been a few wars. We got attacked a couple of times by the Celts. Um, not to mention, of course, also going to war with Austria. Although we didn't really participate in that war. We sank a couple of battleships and liberated a city. But that was about it. The Celts put up far more of a fight than the Austrians did. But this is one of, I mean, I, as I've said before, I do like to play quite passively. I don't really like the combat side of things in Civ 5. And I did want to prove to myself, and also all those people that think it's only possible to win on Deity by kicking the AI's ass, that you don't really need to do that. There we go. There is particle physics. So the question is, what would we like to research next? It doesn't really matter. But let's go into nuclear fission. So... Choose production. We want to look at the engine. It'll be 16 turns in Wilsonia, 27 turns in Krakow, 133 turns in Lodz, 19 turns, 16 turns in Githyonia. Well, 16 turns wherever we build it, so we might as well start it building here because Wilsonia needs to build something. So the question is, can we get any more production here? Can we get that 16 turns down? What about if we work this tile? That's down to 15 turns now. 15 turns is decent. We could stop working some of these and go into the workshop, factory and windmill ones now. 14 turns. 14 turns looks like it's going to be about as good as possible. World leader, we will continue to vote for ourselves. Need 35 votes to win, and Sweden only have 19, so we don't have to worry about a diplomatic victory from the AI. So 14 turns. We are actually starving. I hadn't noticed that. I will need to fix that. But that's definitely the, the quickest that we can build it. Although it's going to be 265 turns until it starves, so it's not really going to go down any. 
Are there any buildings I could build here that would speed up production? Um, nuclear plant cannot afford. But we can buy one quite soon. Right, well, Sonia is starving, but it's going to take 264 turns, so I don't really care. We can send production to Will Sonia, actually. Let's go and do that. Um, down to 12 turns now. Is that the final part of the spaceship now? Is the last bit? Yeah, that's the only bit I haven't done. There's another booster from Morocco, but Morocco are really behind everybody else, so we don't care about that. Could I sell something? We could sell some uranium to somebody. Morocco wants uranium. So if I was to go to you and offer to sell you... Um, really? I only have one uranium? I thought I had more than that. It says I've got five. But what am I... Um, I've got four of my own, and I'm importing four from Brussels, apparently. And I'm using three. So if I've got five, but it's not letting me sell them, that's weird. It should do. It would be nice if I could sell something. You still want to buy iron. What is wrong with you? Uh, but if you still want to buy iron, four iron for 270 gold. Mark, Said you want to buy iron. Is that just saying you don't have iron? Will you give me anything for iron? No. I was just trying to see if I could get some extra money there. Nuclear plant is finished here. It doesn't really matter what we get. Let's just go for the stadium. Um, Githyoni has also finished its stadium. Let's just go for the stock exchange. So it doesn't really matter about the... No, we're already in the golden age. You want to buy aluminium from me? Um, I'll accept that, actually. Because I still have enough aluminium to build all the spaceship parts I need. So that should give me enough now to build the... Got to wait until this is over. He's completed the Great Firewall. I'm actually not at the bottom of the scores anymore. <laughs> not that score really makes any difference in this game. It's not a huge indicator of what's going on. But let's go into Wilsonia where we're ten turns away. And we will build ourselves the nuclear plant. Now we're nine turns away. Still starving, but don't really care. Open borders with the Incans. Yeah, because that seems like it would serve a purpose. 47,000 gold now, um, Songhai has got. Yet they're not burning down Cusco, so I'm really not too sure what happened with um, Austria. That is really weird. Uh, well, Sonia is still starving. Krakow has grown. A unit needs orders, which is a cargo ship, which we don't care about. Off to Fez. Another cargo ship. They all seem to end at the same time. This is another thing. I know I know that Firaxis don't actually support Civ 5 anymore. They're probably working on Civ 6. You know, it's, it's due, to be honest. Um, and Firaxis are pretty well known for keeping their games under wraps they're not one of those companies that announces a game when it's like in the concept stage they'll be like oh by the way we're working on civ 6 it'll be out in two months you know that's usually the sort of thing that they do um so you can guarantee they are working on civ 6 and they probably have been for quite some time um up until up until uh, xcom 2 uh, which has been their sort of best-selling game um civilization five and the entire civilization series has been an absolute goldmine for them so of course they're always going to make another sequel and i think beyond earth was just a little bit of a stopgap to I, I honestly think beyond earth was a bit of a rush job i think beyond earth was let's take civ 5 and just sort of give it a fresh coat of paint and use it to sort of keep people happy in the meantime kind of like the way that um things like battlefield hardline you know it was sort of made well, Battlefield Hardline was made by another developer, but it was kind of, let's let's take Battlefield 4, let's change it around a little bit, give it a new coat of paint, and that'll keep people happy for a year until Battlefield 5 comes out. So, I think it's that same sort of thing here. But, um, even though Firaxis have now officially stopped supporting Civilization 5, 
Um, it would have been nice if they had have retroactively put some of the features of Beyond Earth into it, like the ability to tell your cargo routes to auto-renew unless you cancel them. Although that mechanic that wasn't originally in Beyond Earth, it was added later on, because cargo routes were just a nightmare to manage in Beyond Earth. Uh, and Morocco lost its capital. Um... It's still not that good of a feature because one thing that it is missing is the ability to say, look, keep auto renewing this particular, um, keep auto renewing this particular cargo route unless the route changes, because sometimes you're running a route and it's very profitable, and then something will happen and that's no longer the best route. And the first time I played Beyond Earth after they added that mechanic, and I'd forgotten that mechanic was in there, I got like halfway through the game. So everyone just changed to autocracy. I got halfway through the game and everybody thought... Uh, I turned around and thought to myself, hang on a minute, I don't remember actually having a cargo route expire. And then I went and looked and found out that the cargo route had this system where it automatically renewed. And I thought, wow, I wonder how long I've been working inefficient cargo routes. Because I normally only ever check when a cargo route expires and then go, well, okay, then we'll have a look and see, uh, see w what would be a better cargo route. I'm actually also surprised that Firaxis stopped making um, extra civilizations as DLC. I know most of the most of the DLC for Civ Five it wasn't just a civilization. You normally got one or two civilizations as part of the pack, and then you normally got um, single player scenarios. And for those of you who don't know what the single player scenarios are, they do actually exist. There are little sort of well, just like it says, scenarios. The game has a a, a preset um, a preset thing that you have to accomplish, and often you're locked into using a particular civilization with a particular set of units in a particular technological era. And um, they're actually quite fun. I've I've played around with a few of them, but normally that's what the DLC came with the dlc would be one or two civilizations and then a handful of scenarios to go with those civilizations but i honestly can't understand why firaxis didn't continue to ah sweden stole satellites awesome uh, i honestly can't understand why firaxis didn't continue to put out dlc that was just civilizations because there are so many modders that have made modded civilizations. Even now, there are new civilizations being made by modders. And I don't want to take anything away from the modders because some of the modders are very, very talented. And some of the modded civilizations are really high quality and really professionally done. But the things where the modded civilizations generally fail is, first of all, the animated um, leader scenes. There are a couple that do have animated leader scenes, like the Australian one. Um, but again, they're, they're not quite up to the the quality of um, they're not quite up to the quality of Firaxis's own work. Culture victory contender. Wow. Well, he's a culture victory contender. He needs two more civil civilizations to win a culture victory. But we have uh, not the battleship. We have the SS engine. Oh my god, I'm going to do it folks. This is going to be my first ever deity win, legitimately. Let me just double check, make sure it is. Yep, difficulty 8, deity. We are on deity. We are going to add spaceship. Flawless strategy. King of the uh, Winsor... Wilset? What is that? Don't even read that. Poland can into space. Awesome. We have actually managed to get a legit deity win. Really happy with that. Uh, let's just have a look at the replay. And this is another thing that the modded civilizations are missing as well. The, mod, uh, the um, modded civilizations are actually missing a um, uh, the voice acting as well. See, Vienna is founded. Vienna was definitely built. It did exist. Uh, let's go have a look in the replay. Feels like this has crashed a little bit. I'm clicking on buttons and everything is just going so slowly. Right. Replay. 
Well, I'd love to be able to show you guys the replay like we uh, usually do. But unfortunately, the game doesn't really appear to uh, allow me to want to do that. Wasn't the greatest of scores, not by any stretch of the imagination. We'll give one more attempt at the replay. And no, the, the pull-down menu's even disappeared, so that's disappointing. Time spent, 6 hours 1 minute, to win the science victory. Wow. I wonder if it says anywhere here, um... About the Songhai burning down Vienna. Uh, where are we? Geneva, no, it was well before then. Askew deca declares war on uh, Pachacuti. Peace with Kabul. Graz, there we go. Linz, Monaco. Monaco was set up. I'm still, I'm sure Monaco shouldn't be able to burn down. Um... Ask you completes the Apollo program, Dublin, Edinburgh. Looks like it just disappeared. Ask you declares war on Maria Theresa, takes Edinburgh. Maybe it was taken by somebody else. Dublin. This has been a really weird game. I was trying to see it in the list. That's where we pieced out. Was it after we pieced out? I'm almost certain it was. Prague, Salzburg, Kaisel, Graz, Vienna. Vienna was captured by Leventa. Wow. Leventa captured Vienna. Doesn't say they burnt it down. Just one more turn. Let's go and have a quick look at that then. Um, oh, there's Vienna. So that's why it's not... That's why it wasn't showing as being controlled by Askia. But the reason that it, it says they've not built a capital city, that's really weird. But yeah, Vienna does still exist. So it didn't glitch out as much as I thought. And Morocco must be long... Sorry, Monaco must belong to Morocco. I always thought that was a city-state, but maybe I'm just being confused. So I did think there were city-states around here when we... Uh, I'm almost certain there was a city-state here in the middle. But maybe I'm just getting confused. Either way, I have won. Poland can into space. I'm so happy to have my first legit deity win thanks a lot for watching guys it's been an amazing ride i'm really glad i finally managed to pull that off i will play another civ 5 game i'll pick somebody else and i'll try and i'll try and do better i'll try and um not make as many stupid mistakes but you know this is it this is the thing it's a learning process if you've been watching my channel over the last three years i started making civilization videos when i was playing the game on like Chefton or Warchief or whatever the easier difficulties were and I've gone through that through to Prince, King, Emperor, Immortal and now Deity. I have definitely improved with time as is my knowledge and yet yeah, I'm still not the best player out there not by a long shot. I by no means play the game perfectly or even all that optimally but I can still win on Deity and I'm so happy with that now there is going to be much rejoicing. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And until then, goodbye for now.